Don't quit praying. Don't give up. Please don't be afraid now, okay? For those of you who are afraid, for those of you who are faint-hearted, you can close your eyes, okay? Yeah, come on, somebody, come on. Another illustration. How am I going to move my iPad now? <laughs> We find out there was a time when Mike Tyson was literally invincible. He came from a very rough background. Nobody could take him out. And then he has a fight with Buster Douglas in Japan. The commentators, the experts starts to laugh. They're like, who's going to beat this bulldog of a man? This man who's built like a truck. This man is a, who's a walking wrecking ball. There's no way. It's going to be a 90 second match. There's no way Buster Douglas is going to take out Mike Tyson. In fact, because Mike Tyson knew that he was a... <laughs> he knew he could fight. Mike Tyson didn't prepare well for the fight. Why? He thought, why should I prepare when I'm going to take this guy out? in 90 seconds it's a waste of time and now tyson comes in he's relaxed it's like it's gonna be it's gonna be a quick fight one over it's gonna be a quick fight but buster douglas came and he changed the strategy of the fight he was a man who would tyson would take whatever you know what happened with buster douglas he decided to fight in a different way he, be, he began to run around he began to throw those jabs and those jabs looked very innocuous and he began to throw some body shots and they looked very as if it wasn't hurting Mike Tyson but the second round comes and we find he's still fighting Buster Douglas is <laughs> and he's he's going round in circles Southpaw But here's what happened. It comes to the 10th round. And suddenly, we find it was hard because round by round, he had to prepare. He was winded. It was. Okay, <laughs> round by round, suddenly he comes to the 10th round. Mike Tyson, all those little shots. You see, that's what prayer is, persistent prayer. It seems like it's just a jab. It's just a body shot. It's something, it's a, an innocuous uppercut. Doesn't look like much, but every time it's wearing out your opponent, Mature fighters know they don't just go for knockouts. They go to wear out their opponents. They wear out their opponents. They take out all the energy. Persistent prayer is like that. I'm going to go another round. I may be knocked down, but I'm getting up. We're going to pray again. And every time you do that, you weaken the enemy. And suddenly the 10th round, bah, knock out Mike Tyson on the ground. Someone declare, I'm not going to stop praying for my husband. I'm not going to quit praying for my children. I'm not going to stop praying for my country. I'm gonna, not going to stop praying for my community. I'm not going to stop praying for my city. I'm not going to stop praying for my church. Come on, somebody seek the Lord. <laughs>